It's always nice to take a relaxing vacation with the family, but your travel expenses will likely be a lot different if you choose to go solo. For one thing, you won't have to coordinate your travels around other people's schedules. On top of that, a lot of travel destinations are ideal for exploring alone. If you're the type of person who enjoys their own company, you can cover a ton of ground on your own while making memories that will stick with you for a lifetime. From beach resorts to artsy getaways, these are some of the best spots for your next solo excursion. Seville, Spain Do you enjoy dancing and dining with new friends? If so, Seville is the perfect place to spend your next solo vacation. It's an easy place to strike up a lively conversation with locals and is a decent place to go if you're studying abroad. From joining in on religious processions or impromptu flamenco shows to watching a football game at the bar, all that you'll need to do in Seville to have a good time is leave your hotel or hostel. It's a city known for its Jewish, Christian, and Islamic influences. You'll see obvious indication of each one of these religions' cultural contributions anywhere you go. You can plan to spend a lot of your free time in Seville indulging in tasty tapas at neighborhood cafes, watching matador bullfights, and dancing the night away with the local folks you manage to befriend. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation for more. And stick around for more of the best solo travel spots. Beaver Creek, Colorado For lovers of the great outdoors, this quaint village in the heart of the Rockies offers plenty for solo travelers to do any time of year. Hop aboard the epic Mountain Express shuttle, which will take you to and from Denver International Airport. If you choose to stay at the Beaver Creek Resort, they provide a free shuttle service for anyone staying there, so you won't have any trouble getting around if you go this route. Skiing and snowboarding are the two activities that most solo travelers are interested in during the winter months. Come spring or summer, hiking, climbing, and kayaking are the big three. You'll also want to check out local favorite restaurants such as the Beaver Creek Chop House, Bino's Cabin, and Tuscanini. Paris, France This city is known for being very walkable, making it an ideal destination for solo travelers. Paris's mass transit system is also very easy to navigate. If your interests include art and history, consider purchasing a Paris Museum Pass, which will gain you access to many of Paris's world-renowned museums like the Louvre. We also highly recommend checking out the Musée d'Orsay and the Centre Pompidou. After experiencing those exciting locales, grab a bottle of wine and a baguette and spend some time relaxing along the Seine, where you're bound to meet some locals or fellow travelers. It might also be a good idea to try out a tour with a company like The Tour Guy if you want to skip the long lines at places like the Paris Catacombs. A tour will also help you get the most out of exploring other destinations like Versailles. Rome, Italy In Rome, you'll find the famed Colosseum, world-famous artwork, and the Vatican. Many locals speak English and are generally warm and hospitable to out-of-towners, and the transit system makes it very convenient to get around. Invest in a Roma Pass to get discounts on attractions and transportation. Some highly notable areas like the Trastevere and the Spanish Steps provide travelers with convenient accommodation packages. We especially recommend the Aleph Rome Hotel and Hotel Indigo Rome. For a tour, there are many companies available to show you around. And if you're interested in exploring one of Rome's most beautiful streets, check out Via Giulia. Redding, California Redding is a blossoming town, despite recent wildfires that have ravaged the surrounding region. It might not be one of those hip, trendy West Coast towns that California is so famous for, but it's not trying to be either. Redding is a fairly large town that allows you to explore solo for as long as you like. We'd suggest staying for at least a week to see everything the area offers. Redding makes for an excellent base for exploring the surrounding towns and countryside. Northern California is absolutely gorgeous. To Lassen Volcanic National Park, to Six Rivers National Forest and everything in between, this part of Cali is sure to impress. If you're an avid hiker, you'll be spoiled with the number of trails and woodlands you can get lost in. For a burger that will blow your mind, grab a bite to eat at Yaks on the 5. And for a decent swimming hole, head on over to Hatchet Creek Falls. Asheville, North Carolina Tucked away in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains, Asheville, North Carolina is a town that has a strong appreciation for both the arts and nature. It's also home to the stately Biltmore Estate, an 8,000-acre property and ornately decorated mansion that once belonged to George Vanderbilt. There are more than 30 art galleries scattered around the town, many of which can be found in Asheville's River Arts District. Street performers are plentiful as well, so make sure you have a couple dollars stashed away in your pockets to tip them. There are also many opportunities for solo travels to go hiking, kayaking, fishing, and biking in the Asheville area. 
After you've spent the day working up a thirst, wet your whistle at one of the many regional breweries serving up some of the finest craft brews this side of the Mississippi. There is an abundance of hip and funky restaurants and cafes. For some top-notch vegan fare, consider visiting Rosetta's Kitchen or Loretta's Next Door if you're less into plant-based cuisine. A great way to meet locals is to attend the weekly drum circle held on Fridays in Pritchard Park at the center of downtown. You can either bring your own drum or wait for someone to offer you a go at theirs. Asheville residents are pretty friendly and inviting like that. Iceland Iceland is an excellent destination for solo travelers. The majority of locals speak English and tend to be pretty warm and friendly to tourists. The country is sometimes called the land of fire and ice because of its numerous natural wonders, including hot springs, volcanoes, and waterfalls. The best time of year to visit is during the summer, when you can enjoy close to 24 hours of sunlight while engaging in activities like caving, hiking, ice climbing, and biking. The nation's capital and most populated city, Reykjavik, is a great place to look for lodging. It's close to the country's international airport and boasts many cafes, galleries, museums, and shops. Toronto Located just 100 miles north of Buffalo, Toronto, the capital city of Ontario, offers solo travelers a distinctly European vibe without having to leave North America. Exploring Toronto via the GO transit system is a breeze, and downtown is very walkable. Some of the most popular attractions include the CN Tower, the Toronto Zoo, Yonj Dundas Square, and CF Toronto Eaton Center. If you're a nature lover, visit the Toronto Islands, which are reachable via a short ferry ride from downtown. You should also check out High Park, Toronto's biggest public park. Sedona, Arizona For an unconventional getaway that might just get a little spooky, consider a visit to beautiful Sedona, a town surrounded by majestic Red Rock Mountains and a hotbed for spiritual activity. Psychics, New Agers, Palmists, and other supernatural enthusiasts have been flocking to this otherworldly town for years. After getting a tarot card reading, take a hike at Cathedral Rock or Devil's Bridge. If you're planning to explore the national forest that surrounds Sedona, buy a Red Rock Pass. If you're seeking thrills and spills, try taking an adventure tour through Sedona's rugged and wild backcountry or go on a stargazing excursion with Sedona Stargazing. As far as lodging, we recommend either staying at the lavish Hilton Sedona Resort at Bell Rock or booking a room at Courtyard by Marriott. At the latter, you'll be treated to phenomenal views of the mountains and even get your own private meditation area to get your zen on. Thailand. Travel blogs often cite this Asian nation as a safe spot for solo travelers. For a bit of city action, visit Bangkok, the country's capital. There you'll find numerous destinations that will surely please, such as the culinary lover's dream, Khao San Road, or the very appropriately named Grand Palace. Bangkok is also known for its vibrant and lively nightlife scene. To navigate around the city or venture out into other regions of Thailand, there's a broad range of transportation options like subways, buses, trains, and taxis to help you get around. If you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can also take a ride in a tuk-tuk, a three-wheeled motorbike, or book an outing in a long-tail boat. Now it's time to hear from you. What are your favorite spots to travel solo in? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.